All right, finally, I've been waiting to talk about this. Why the fuck does this big old one one guy giant not have a tree in his hand? And a huge log, a top, a baseball bat, top heavy boulder tied to the end of a cool stick. Why doesn't he have um, a giant something, a weapon? Oh, yeah. Nothing. I think he, the answer he, is he, obvious. He's though. poking at these sticks with his fucking fists. Hold on. Or, here's another weapon. Guess what he's surrounded by? 200 pound big bags of man bones. Skeletons covered in human mis muscle tissue. He could pick up one of these fucking dead dudes and swing their bodies around like a weapon. Right. That would be an effective club. So, Way more effective than a stupid thing. You got a retort? You yes, got a rejoinder? The, the whole reason they're doing this is because... Bring it. The one thing that's holding John's army at bay is the formation around them. The, the, the shield oh, wall... So, the, oh, wait, pause. The shield wall. Go. The shield wall, them. That, that they are the Jedi's in the trash compactor. They are, <laughs> they stand no chance. The little creature with the eyeball pops yes. up out of the box. Yeah. So if if in a case where one one had a giant weapon where he could sweep it along and knock a wall free, that would open up an avenue of escape for the army, and that would create a situation where what's about to happen would not be as epic as it would be had they remained in this death squash. Sure. So they're in this. So, not, so I agree with you. It makes no sense that he would go into battle without a yeah. weapon. But I think they did that intentionally to serve the story better because it would be unbelievable that he wouldn't be able to get them out of the situation had he been armed in the way that we would expect him to have been armed. I don't think your reasoning is horrible, but you're wrong. Because I, because they that would, yes, present a notion that he could sweep off a bunch of them and kill them. Like he did with the mm -hmm. Whites when they were being attacked at Hardhome. Mm -hmm. He had a big log and he was swinging it and he was taking out two or three attacks. He could take out four or five of these guys, really mm -hmm. bang a huge dent in the wall. But that would mean that they would have to respond to that and they'd probably just nail him with a... I mean, there's an answer to that that would have fit the story. They could have killed him sooner. They could have done something. I don't... I understand what you're saying. But you're saying, oh, well, because the story, in order to propel the story, requires that they would have given up one of the most powerful things they could have had here, which is this fucking giant, and him and his stupid fists is not what you go into battle with. You have a log. <laughs> Captain's log. John's not a smart guy. Yes, he is. How dare you? <laughs> don't make fun of the dead, James. I get what you're saying. I don't think you're, you're not wrong, but I'm right. I'm more right. He needs a weapon. It's stupid that he didn't have a weapon. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm not it. saying it's, it's stupid that he didn't have a weapon. It is stupid he didn't have a weapon, but... Look at this a, shot right here. For look, take, look, he needs a big old stick, whoosh, and then a guy runs up and pokes him, whoosh, and maybe they disarm him or something, and then he's stuck with it. They or, could have explained it that way. But they would have why, killed why him not that charge, wait, Maybe he uh, charged in and he had his big old weapon or something, his mace, his, uh, what, 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 what's a good weapon? Uh, for a giant? Some insults. Yeah, yeah. you know, something. And boom, he takes a shot to the arrow and he drops it because it ma makes him open his hand. Like they could have done, you know, in movies where they have to like, they use like one throwaway line just to sort of explain something mm. that otherwise would cause criticism. They didn't even address it. He would have a fucking weapon. Go, your turn. I, I think you're the only person on the planet complaining about this episode right now. I'm not complaining about the episode. I love the episode. Oh. I'm just saying this, this specific uh, detail is crazy to me that they wouldn't give the, the, the their strongest thing, weapon, it's like bringing a catapult and being like, well, it, the story yeah, required I mean, that they forgot the boulders and they don't have anything to shoot, so they're just going to spank the catapult against yeah. its own crossbeam. I think from a story perspective, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but from a progression of events perspective, I think it would have made him too overpowered. It would have threw more questions into the mix than they wanted to deal with. He could have broken the wall easily. Yeah. And if, he, and if he could have broken the wall, then John's army wouldn't have been trapped. And if John's army isn't trapped, then they're not hopeless. And if they're not hopeless, then... I'm saying that you're right, but there are ways they could have... Um, is Amelia, um, Amelia Earhart <laughs> ameliorated that issue by having some... Maybe they hit him with a catapult shot or something. Like, maybe they do something to take out his weapon. I'm just saying, I agree with you, but what you're saying is not enough to convince me that they wouldn't bring him a weapon. I'm not saying that the filmmakers forgot, because obviously it was a deliberate choice. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm going to be writing George R. 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 Martin, okay? Is, he is my senator. I'll edit a lightsaber in his hand. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. That would take a lot of work. A I log could, saber. I could, I could do it. A log saber. It looked great. It felt, it just, it was emotionally satisfying. Mm -hmm. It worked great. And, uh, oh, finally. Remember I said, oh, what I said? I go, research. yes, he, he has a fucking weapon. He beats people with a skateboard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's his, uh, he goes, I want this one. Can I get trucks and wheels? <laughs> 
So he's shopping for a Flayed Man skateboard. That actually would be a cool skateboard. Yeah. And uh, boom, he's finally doing what he should have done. He could have taken up spears. He could have been using a body. He could have picked up a horse. He could have used the horse as a weapon. That would have been amazing. But you notice, see, they waited until the wall was broken before they let him let loose. He, he gets out the, the, the serving platter. Well, I still think it's for s stupid. Thank you.